How can we tell if a website is going to succeed? I mean, there's telltale signs. Is that the word telltale signs? If a website will do well on Google or if they're going to do terrible. Some of them are very, very obvious and some of them are not so obvious. So let's go over how to tell if your website will succeed on Google before you go wasting time, energy, and money going after this thing. Now to begin, it's important to note that SEO is a knowledge-based industry. That means that the more that you learn up here, the better you will do. For instance, do you know what the term CTR means? Do you know what EMD means? Do you know what PBN means? All of these things will lead you down a rabbit hole and the more knowledge you acquire, the more powerful you become as an SEO. And a great example is right here with CTR manipulation. Let's say that we got curious. What does CTR mean? Click-through rate. And then we went down the rabbit hole and we realized manipulation manipulation of CTR is an actual thing. And we go into the forums and we start digging around and we realize people are using websites like micro workers to hire people to manipulate click-through rates on their website and our mind just becomes blown. And then the really curious ones are going to say, what is a PBN, a private blog network? Why would we have four websites pointing to one? People actually do this. And the point is not advocating for these type of black hat things. The point is those who are curious in SEO expand their knowledge and they have more opportunity to succeed. Now move it on the niche or niche, depending upon the flavor you like. Let's type into Google. Let's go back one. The best, do you see it up here? Best supplements for weight loss, right? Scroll down. The first one is WebMD with the 11 supplements and herbs for weight loss explained. We come in here, we can scroll up, scroll down. Supplements for weight loss is their H1 tag. Now, if I come over to Hrefs, I want you to see this. This is a DR of 92. That means that this website is 92 out of 100 powerful, right? Powerful website. It's not always accurate, but this is a good thing to look at. Furthermore, just an interesting note, this one page on the website is valued at $40,000 per month of revenue. One page on a website, $40,000 a month. Now, coming back to the SERPs, the same one, the best supplements for weight loss. We have WebMD. People also ask. There's ways to get on that, which is very important. And then we have Forbes and Sports Illustrated. These are giants in the space. Forbes has even a higher DR of 94. And this is important, or rather interesting. Look at this. I think they just made this to compete with WebMD. Their traffic is going up here right now. That's pretty cool. Let's go to that. Um, let's see if we can find it. Let's come down here. Let's go to Forbes. Let's click in here. When was this made? It was published, yeah, three or four days ago, January 11th. So they're trying to compete against a huge website, WebMD, and they can do that because it's Forbes, right? And then Sports Illustrated, SI.com has an 87 DR, and they don't have as much traffic. So that's a great example of a bad niche to be in because you don't have the website to be powerful enough to compete, and the knowledge required to compete is huge. This website here might be a good example, Bonsai Mary. This has great visuals. And why are visuals important nowadays? I'll show you why. But this is the analytics. Let's see if this thing loads here. Let it load. Give it a second. Here it is. Okay. So this is the last few days. Uh, today is the, I guess, Monday the 15th. You can see our analytics. We're getting 2,600 visitors yesterday. We have 57 visitors in the last 30 minutes. And to be clear, that's not all Google organic traffic. And that's a very important point. Uh, point. This is the uh, Google Search Console. I'll get my big head out of the way. We're, we're still boosting, which is kind of fun to see. I don't know where it will go. We got 815 clicks. This is a six month view. The point is when you pick a niche, you have to be able to compete. Do some common sense work. And if you have tools like Ahrefs, that's great too. Then pick a niche that can expand to say Facebook and Pinterest. Are people interested in this outside of, right? And this is my preference, outside of just Google search because auto blogging, which is also my preference, all of these posts, I'll show you all of these. I'll go to blog have been made more or less automatically. This is a, a new one right here. The 41 best air purifying plants. We're going after higher traffic with these. And you can see to the right, I mean, this is a mega article, right? If I type in any or click in any of these, this was all done for a cost of about $4 a post. And I don't touch it. I don't do anything at this point. And something I need to say with this is quality and quantity. I see people who are obsessed with this aspect, right? Quantity, they just want as much as possible, right? And I see people obsessed with quality who don't post but once a week. I think nowadays there has to be a marriage between the two because Google has shown their colors. They can just wipe your website. They could wipe Bonsai Mary, no problem off the face of the earth. So quality and quantity combined with affordability, I think is the way to go 
nowadays. And to show you quality combined with quantity, I want to show you Epic Gardening. This website combined with another one recently, you can see here, here's their graph, the combination of those two websites right here. They receive about a million in traffic from Google search you know, alone, but then they have a YouTube channel, they have Instagram, they have, they are diversified. Why and how? They can do this because it's very visual and their audience lives on these different platforms, social platforms. Therefore, if this website were to get hit by Google, right, they are diversified. They're not terribly worried about it. I mean, they are worried about it, I'm sure. But let's go over their top three pages to show you something interesting. Types of flowers, purple flowers, and white flowers. Look at this. 301 different types of flowers. This this page right here, this one gets about 20,000 clicks, right? This 20,000 clicks per month, right? A huge article with images and there's display ads and people scroll forever because Google is like a feedback machine, a feedback loop. If you stay on a page longer, Google knows this, you're gonna rank higher, right? But why 301? Well, that's part of the reason, and it's a comprehensive article. People love this. And the cool thing is, nowadays, autoblogging makes this very, very easy. And not only is it easy, it's affordable. And I want to show you this, a contrast, right? I click this little button up here, and it will push this all to HTML, kind of. It says it would take about 180 minutes to read this whole darn thing. What is that, like three hours? And I pushed it to Google, a uh, Google document. This thing is loading. You can see here, it's about 25,000 words. Now, when they created this, I imagine they are paying writers to write this document. And let's assume a rate of five cents per word. That would be about twelve, thirteen hundred dollars to do that one article. And we can do it now with just VAs, good team members, for about ten dollars. But just because you can do a thing doesn't mean you should. And that's a very good indicator of how someone's going to succeed. Check this out. This is like the brains of Bonsai Mary. Uh, can I scroll in here? Let's see if I can scroll in for a second. All right, right there. So we have parent topics. These are listicles. And listicles typically can garner, they can get the most traffic on a website. Therefore, we have the best indoor plants, right? Here is the potential volume, 34,000 clicks per month, right? And if I click here, if I click right here, you can see, let's see if I can zoom out again. You can see how we created this article, right? We needed all of the ingredients right here. This is the ingredients. There's 80 some odd plants. We need the ingredients and each one has an article. If I click into here, right, spider ivy, great. We have an article for spider ivy. Why, if I come over here and I click here, we have an article for whatever this is, Christmas, Christmas cactus, right? And all that to say is we need the ingredients for best indoor plants. And I can tell if a website is going to succeed by their content, plan. Now, when discussing a content plan, you'll see SEO agencies selling this for $4,000 to $12,000, sometimes even more, because why? It is extremely valuable. But if you're going to do it yourself, start with the end in mind. And this is exactly what can happen. You get a little lucky. This is one page on Bonsai Mary. The traffic is starting to pick up, right? And what is this page? It's this one right here. If I click, we'll go to this one, 76 types of philodendron to grow indoors. And you can see all of these things, but everything below it. So these are tier two articles have already built out. Therefore, the listicle can point down. So if you start with the end in mind, you first identify your money pages. Right? And how you can do that is different ways. Just start thinking of best, top, versus these type of listicles, because a lot of people type in best. It gets to the point of a search, right? If we were to look at a competitor, uh, Epic Garden is a competitor for this. They have 61 different types of philodendron, very cool. But if we go to Google, types of philodendron, you can see this is part of the problem we were discussing earlier. The spruce is number one, then Epic Garden, which has a really big DR. Then this one here, Lawn, I've never heard of them, House Beautiful and Bonsai Mary. And in the mix was this website, lawn.com.au. And it does not look like a branded website. It looks like a blog, a niche website, which piques my interest. So we're going to come here. We see it's a DR of 38 and they have 100,000 traffic. And all of a sudden we have a website we can emulate, we can look towards, we can see what they're ranking for. But let's just look at this, types of philodendron as the keyword we want to rank. And by the way, this is why content plans cost so money because it's so much work, right? This is just research for one 
keyword. But nonetheless, let's keep going down. Let's look at the domain ratings of who we're up against. The Spruce has a domain rating of 90, Epic Garden in 73, then lawn.com.au 3885. We have a 28. It's not a terribly powerful website, a 6287. So if we have any chance at all of ranking against these guys here, we need two ingredients. We need better content. We need backlinks. You need backlinks to rank for money pages. That's just the bottom line. If you want to learn more, check out this. This is the auto blog and masterclass. This is where I show you exactly how I'm doing it. It, it works. Bonsai Mary is zooming pretty darn good.